Welcome back. I'm inside a Devard Vergnut Silvermu. This is the enlarged herring gun. It's the biggest tent they made. And it's very large. This one doesn't have any interior curtains with it. I had a, a new set inside. I was so excited, but they're different zips. Devard seemed to have had varying relationships with zip manufacturers over the years and have sometimes changed provider. This tent is amazing. It's late 80s and there's almost not a mark on it. So what we've got here is a huge open space. Very bright. It's nice light canvas. You've got three half moon vents in the back. This thing is four and a half meters deep and four meters wide. So it's big and it's two and a half meters high at the mast. I certainly can't reach the top. 1.9 at the front. Really nice ground sheet, all in really good order. Incredible clean canvas. We'll have a walk around outside. This came without any zips on the front. They were an option for attaching awnings and wings, but it seemed a shame not to have any, so I've managed to fix some up, but they are not zipped on. So we've got from the front, we've got the classic look now. I found a couple of wings, a pretty good match. And these are pinned on, hanging on the top pins here as normal. Elastic out, new rubbers I fitted. But the zip, alas, is redundant ditto the other side. They've got five rubbers. These are nice big wings. So they give a lovely big enclosed space there. Although I can't promise the odd draft won't get through. Likewise with the square awning on the top that is pinned at either side pulled forward i've put a couple of poles with this you will see there the later slightly sort of fudgy honey color the other poles are the classic brown slight difference in the color same length same everything really um so you've got that awning on there what we've done before i don't have any but some people will put a a line of you can buy on amazon or wherever sticky back velcro put that across and that will give you a good watertight joint but it then gives you that two and a half meters depth nice big area where you could have a table and have breakfast out there whatever it just makes the whole tent lovely and complete adding these pieces on let's have a look at the canvas we're going backwards they started inside a few spots and marks on the wings as i said they are from elsewhere but once you get to the tent itself Again, Priest has been in a bag for some time, but there's virtually, there's no sap. I found a couple of bits of bird poo that just brushed off very easily. I would describe this tent canvas as virtually unmarked. It's a couple of bits on the skirt down there, but it's bordering on perfect, this tent. It's so amazing for a tent that's about 32 years old. This is why I was quite keen to find the wings and the canopy to go with it. To make it a complete thing, all these lines are in good order. I haven't had to do anything with those. All the aluminium bits are nice and the sliders on there. So we're back to there. There's a spot on that wing there. That, quite often these wings, people cook under them and a little bit of oil or something gets splashed on there. That looks like something like that to me. Or possibly a bit of oil from a lamp when we're back here again. Love this tent. Let's have another peep inside. It's such a big... Without the curtains, it's sort of quite fun because it's just a huge space. I mean, you'd get... You'd probably get three doubles in there. I mean, you'd certainly get a king in the middle and a single each side with a load of room to spare. And you've got this huge living area at the front. Usual stuff at the front. Vents above the windows pop up, clip up covers on everything and all these meshes are good and all the zips are good and the poles on this tent i'm going to color code them somebody did it in the past not very neatly all the poles are nice without any rust on the ends is always a good sign i usually get the poles out before i get the tent out and when i saw these i thought this tent looks like a good one and it is one mark i can see there outside on the canvas but it's pretty amazing have a look at the ceiling over the living area look fantastic i've been going on for nearly five minutes about this tent i'm gonna close up now this is going on my gerard saunders site we're on a 
one pound eBay promotion at the moment. So I'm selling a few tents on there over the Easter weekend. And then we'll be back on Nights in My Canvas. Thank you very much for watching.